Hey folks, coming at you with another video, and originally I did not want to come at you with another video here, but I purchased the item you're going to see in this video already. Uh, I've only had it once before, and then I went to look up my uh, review video I did for it, just so I could, like, you know, remember exactly everything I thought and said about the product, but I'm looking throughout my videos, and I could not find it anywhere, so maybe it's one of those videos that a couple, week, couple weeks back or so got, might have been one of the ones that got taken off my page, and if it did, I have no idea why. But I know when I had it for the first time, which was also the last time, I reviewed it in a video. Because that's what I do. So I'm only coming back here to show you guys the product. Supposedly again, but more likely the first time you're seeing it. Because I don't know why, but I can't find my video for it anywhere. I can't locate it. So it must have been a deleted video. But as far as I recall... I either didn't like the product at all, or not that much. And what am I referring to today, guys? An orange can of Rockstar Mango Orange Flavor. But not anybody can go pick this one up. You have to be of legal drinking age where you are. It's an adult beverage. Um, it's in a 473 milliliter can. So... You know, it's almost 16 ounces, because 16 ounces is 500 milliliters. It only has 30 milligrams of caffeine. And, um, it's got 23 milligrams of ginseng and 15 milligrams of guarana. Um, I know on LCBO's website, they'll say these are coming from, like, the Carolinas. But on it here, it says it's imported from, like, if I can see... Rockstar Vodka Company in Vancouver, B.C. Yeah, it's 6.9% because there's vodka in it. And seeing as my last time I had it was a review video and it's gone for whatever reason. Gotta remake it, so here goes, folks. I mean, I was looking for the video after this was already purchased. And I thought that I was the only one really buying these in town. Because it never seemed like any were really being sold. And when I would go and add it to my purchases in the store, I would usually just get like one at the time, you know. <laughs> but when I went in there, they had a lot of these. And they only had one of the black can left. I was going to get at least two of the black can, but they only had one left. So I grabbed that one. That one's just a regular rock star. And when uh, I first started trying them out and drinking them, there was also a red can they used to have. And the red can was pomegranate flavor and back in those days um the can would read 98 milligrams of caffeine in a sense that's a lot but the uh, versions that you can buy at any age in your life there are 100 and something milligrams of caffeine so when this first came around and i saw the 30 i found it a little bit funny because i thought to myself well usually adult uh drinks that have the caffeine in them usually don't list the caffeine content or if they do it's a lot bigger of a number so it's a little weird, but it makes it safer. <laughs> and then when I started to pick up the black can again, right? I look, all of them became 30 milligrams caffeine now. And that red can, I haven't seen in like months or years or something. Cheers. I just pour a little in a shot glass to see how, if it's really orange looking. Yep. Dirty looking orange color though. Kind of, eh? I mean, I don't love these drinks, but for the caffeine drinks in my town to have alcohol in them, all we have is this the black regular Rockstar can, and then sometimes we get those Jack Daniel Cola cans. I can't get like the Sparks and the Four Locals and all that, but it's funny. I have no idea why they had to lower the caffeine content 68 milligrams less in these, but they did. Although I've only seen this one to ever be around with the 30, but I know the black can got lowered. 
course, I don't know if this version ever had a 98 milligram version. But what's funny is I know in like America, they got in, Sparks got in trouble and they had to take all their like caffeine and energy drink ingredients out of their uh, products to still be able to sell them. And their cans probably about this size or a little smaller, and they're like eight percent. I mean, a long time ago I tried like the Sparks Plus out, and when I got to try it out, there was caffeine in it, and then. A couple months back, or last year, I got to try that strawberry one out, and there was no caffeine or nothing like that in it. But it's funny, you'll see them right in the store being sold, caffeine and energy drink free, but right next to them is cans that are a lot bigger, and they're anywhere from like 9 to 12%, and those products can still have the caffeine and energy drinks. But this one here has vodka in it, it's 6.9, it's Rockstar, it's orange mango, it's 30 milligrams of caffeine. The black can's the better one. Don't love these, but I don't hate them. This is my second one ever. The first time I had it, I don't know where that video went for it. <clears throat> and I don't know, I just bought this because if I could have got more than one of the black cans, I would have drank this and a black can one tonight. <clears throat> Even though there's more vodka than I need. But whatever. Cheers and peace out.